With the struggle of little rainfall in 2011, many producers are wondering if they will even make it to harvest. Producers are trying to conserve water, which is proving to be the most precious natural resource. David Carthel, a corn and cotton farmer from Farmer County, is using drip irrigation to survive this drought. I want to be more efficient with my water that I have left. Take, take better care of what you got left. We don't have very much left. And you're seeing this year, water is more precious than oil. It's going to get that away. You can't drink oil. Carthel has put his drip irrigation into full use this year because he thinks it is the best alternative when dealing with hard times. Getting more of your water that you're pumping out of the ground is actually getting on the crop. In fact, Carthel might even see himself using less water than he has with other irrigation methods. I could see that. You could, you could use, uh, use the same water more efficiently or or maybe even less water. Carthel's drip system utilizes some of the latest technology, allowing him to keep track and control of his water use. It kind of works like a, a yard sprinkler system. It's all automatic. You can design, you can tell it what to do, but it, it, it runs four stations at a time. And so right now, station 9, 10, 11, 12 are running uh, manually, but I can switch it to automatic and it just starts rotating. The efficiency of the drip system has allowed Carthel to share water between his corn and cotton crop. Less water. And see, by, by having this drip on 70 acres, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to pull off of that a little bit and water that cotton some. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, with 70 acres of row water or sprinkler irrigation, I don't think I can do that. Carthel says he mostly relies on Mother Nature when times get tough, but this year, Mother Nature has only brought dry weather. I can tell by this year, this is uh, there won't be a year worse, harder, and more challenging than this year to get a crop up. Mm -hmm. And uh, my drip proves that you can do it. Join us while we track Carthel's drip cornfield this growing season.